Soldier Field opened back in 1924 with the Bears becoming tenants in 71. And what a home field advantage it has become here in Chicago. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Chicago Bears. The Chicago offense set to get started. Throwing on first down. Williams will get that complete. Now the ball comes loose. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. Now a throw here. Hauled in. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Bears first down, and he was able to get it by play. A gain of eight on third and three. But give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. Dances by him, and he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. It's a big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Once again, it's Swift. He will push his way down to about the 14. Credit the tackle to Darius Slay. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? In motion left goes Allen. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end arounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs. Partner, this was much more of a tap pass, but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys love it if you're a quarterback. It's an easy completion. If you're a wide receiver, you get the easy reception and also a chance to try to make a play with your feet. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Williams to throw on second down to the end zone, but it's incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early, but it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. This could very well be four down territory, but right now we focus on third and goal from the one. Looking to throw. Williams. That's to Moore, and he's got it. Touchdown, Bears! A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Bears put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. 
Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game. Then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. After the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. And he's going to be wrangled down quickly after the catch up at the 45-yard line. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Hurts throw here, take it in as he's able to find Goddard. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Throwing his hurts. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. But when we see the ball tipped in the air, sometimes we get a little roll change, don't we? Because when it's in the air, sometimes the defensive back becomes the receiver. And in this case, the receiver looked like a defensive back, but ended up a receiver. He caught it. It's a receiver. <laughs> hey, it worked out. Worked out really well for them. But I'm telling you, the defensive guys, frustrated. Oh, frustrated. They're going to catch it in film. 11 yards for number 11. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. This is caught. And he'll be out of bounds. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. So they gave up the early touchdown. This has been a pretty good response. Nice drive, taking it down first and goal. And I know all the cliches jump in, right? Don't get away from your game plan too early. Make sure you're settled down. Don't panic. But it's all true, isn't it? Because otherwise, you get out of... And Goddard's got it! Touchdown, Eagles! 
A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Eagles are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. But there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. It was the safety blitz that ultimately did the job, and they're going to credit him with a sack. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end... Oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. Williams. And this all incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw, Williams. And now another one thrown incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. And fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Hurts sets up to throw it. It's caught, Smith. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. The end result, 21 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. So five yards here, five on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just 
one first down per minute, and then out. Obviously, no loss of confidence with that defense, and now they get to turn it back to their offense. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Bears' offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age, but then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right? Your mind to beat guys to the football and getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. That's complete right side to connect. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Seven, seven, our score after one. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. As they've got it with a first and 10. And off the option, he'll try and run with it. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Here's Williams looking to throw on second down. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed. Always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Now Williams on third down. And that will be incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards. And they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Santos' kick is up and through, and they take the lead here now at 10 to seven. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game.
And after the made field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Now thrown to Parker, complete on the slant. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Barkley inside handoff. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second down and six. They'll run it again with Barkley. A nice little juke. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Play action. Here's Hurts. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. The pressure that time right up the middle, and he was able to wiggle in there pretty easily and get the sack. Yeah, sometimes you end up getting caught in a little bit of a breakdown about who to block up front, and that creates the gap there. And he took full advantage, got to the quarterback, and finished off the sack. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49. A gain of just two. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Well, a tough situation to overcome here. Third and 17. Hurts. Looking left side and he's got a man. Brad Smith. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely. No matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Here's Hurts to throw. And he's going to go down. Sacked back in the 24. It's Jervon Dexter who got in to drop him. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they delivered there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. Barkley is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, 
I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> and he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Saquon Barkley, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have taken the lead. They were able to stop him at the line on first down, but this time he punches his way through. And sometimes just because you're stopped on the first run, it doesn't mean the play call was bad or incorrect. You might just need better execution and just a tad more determination, and they got it done on the second try. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that, wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Throwing again, Williams dropping this underneath with Herbert. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'll come up facing third and five. Looking to throw, Williams. I oh, had a man Open, but he missed him and it's incomplete well they came up with points in their first two possessions but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive the defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession now here's Trenton Gill on to punt 44 on his first punt and this is a good kick as well that's taken on the 25 it's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And the Eagles will have it, taking over first and 10. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. But first down, Hurts. Complete. Smith has it. He's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. 
They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And his throw here is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Game clock at 2.01. Time for one final play before the two-minute warning. Second down. Here's Jalen Hurts. But he's got Smith here. Third and two. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he is caught. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. They'll look to throw again. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great effort there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And they are able to add on to their advantage. And, Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Now Jones. Jones now on the return. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Back to throw. Williams. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Now here's Trenton Gill now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. 
from the gun. It's Hurts. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. They'll set up a throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Here's Jake Elliott, career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And they went to the tunnel with the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> Almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, oh and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. But Matt Eberflus clearly in disagreement with that last call, and he's going to throw the challenge flag. The 
They'll look to throw now on first down. Flush to his right. Hurts fumbles it, and this is picked up by the Bears. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Williams now. Following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Looking to throw. Williams. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect him to have more completions to him in this game. Here's second and ten. On the option to give to Swift here. Gets through and now an opening. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 49 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Williams throwing on first down. Pass incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try them out a stand before they're backed up even further. Second and ten. He's going to try and take off with it. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Williams. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And last time, the fumble, the turnover. Now they still have the lead, but I don't think coaches care. The turnovers will bother them no matter what the scoreboard says. If that's the relief that you still have the lead, but coaches look at what if and what it should be. Turning the ball over when they've got a chance to score more points and increase the lead, that's what's going to affect them. And they're also thinking to future weeks, maybe when the game's closer, right? No doubt about it. You want to clean up everything. Let's just be honest about it. They want everything to be perfect at all times. They don't want to give up anything that's going to hurt their team. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. 
Throwing his hurts. Over the middle here to Brown. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Hurt sets up to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. On first and ten, it's game one. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down, but give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage, but it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Now Jones. Jones now on the return. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Bears now ready to take over again. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They finds his target, Allen. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. And they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're just going to pick up a holding call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Off play action, Williams. Throw out wide is incomplete. 
A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. On second down, a run with Herbert. And down he'll go at the 25. Caught the defense off guard there a bit on second and long, but now you still have to deal with third and long. Yeah, you do, but you feel pretty good about the last play, don't you? And maybe it gives you a little bit of confidence dialing up the next one that maybe your team will believe in it when you send it in. Here's Williams to throw on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. That'll be caught. It's Scott. Touchdown. Tyler Scott. 38 yards and the Bears have got it back to a two score game here in the fourth. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. A running play there, going to get 11 as they get a quick first down. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning, trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 23 yards on the play. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, 
you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Throwing middle, and it's complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he'll be brought down at the 27. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continue to do so. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Jervon Dexter able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked by Kevin Byer. And the Bears are right back in this football game. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got him pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Now Williams on third down, forced out to his left. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Now a second and 10. To throw again, Williams. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. The offense on third down tonight, not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and ten. Looking to throw. Williams. They'll set up the screen to Herbert. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 
16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw again. Over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quick. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Buried for the sack by big Jalen Carter. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Williams on the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Defensively, no doubt they need a quick stop. Offensively here, maybe do you put it in the air on second down or do you go ahead and keep it on the ground, keep that clock moving? A lot of people would ask that question, partner, because sometimes throwing the ball might actually be the path of least resistance. But in this case, it's a matter of trust. How much do you trust your quarterback? Because you throw the ball and it goes awry, you really don't look smart as a coach. Yeah, and then you stop that clock. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. Just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now, here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. That one goes for 24 yards. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Barkley on first down, running into a wall as he stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. They'll go to Barkley again. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. 
And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. A give to Barkley out of the gun. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Here's Barkley. No gain on the play that time, so a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down, but don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? It's one play at a time, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's smart, baby. Let's go now. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this, man. Let's do it. Play it a little aggressive, baby. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Chicago offense set to get started. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Back to throw. Williams. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Operating from the gun, Williams. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth, but a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. 
So it's the Eagles who get the win here, and the guy who really led the way was their quarterback, CD, and that's Jalen Hurts. Yeah, you really have to credit the protection he got as well. He had time to throw all game long, and he took advantage, throwing for close to 400 yards and two touchdowns. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA.